What's going on YouTube for us here? I hope you guys are doing well. Season 2 of Modern Warfare 3 has shown me exactly what Activision and Sledgehammer's agenda is with this game, and probably what Activision's agenda is with future titles as well, which is content over quality. And we talk about this a lot here, but I want to focus in on this again. The content that is in Modern Warfare 3 is actually not bad, and what we got for Season 2 is pretty darn good. Like, I'll be completely honest. Yes, I dislike the inclusion of Modern Warfare 2 maps, but I'll be honest, it's not the end of the world. I get why they did it. They wanted to add more variety, and honestly, there is a ton of variety here. It really is, and the new maps that were added for Season 2 are pretty good, and the maps they added for Season 1 were pretty good. I, I don't have any major complaints when it comes to the content we've received. However, the complaints and the criticisms lie with the rest of the game, with the foundation of the game, what they should be trying to fix. I can understand them not trying to push out content after content after content if they are working on the back end of the game. If they are committed to fixing the servers, fixing the spawns, fixing the cheater problem, then I can understand and excuse them not putting in three maps into a seasonal launch. But this is the problem, is we get the content, but we don't get any of the fixes behind it. Like, I would be praising Season 2 of Modern Warfare 3 a lot more if it came with a massive spawn overhaul. If it came with a matchmaking overhaul. Or with a server overhaul. But none of that existed. We got all the content, but all of the main criticisms and concerns from this community were left unanswered. Yes, they did the classic weapon balancing, then they changed a few things here and there, but the core of the game feels the same as it did back in 2022 with Modern Warfare 2. Nothing has really fundamentally changed, and that's part of the problem. It's been a sticking point with this community for over a year and a half, and nothing has fundamentally changed. And it needs to change. There's a reason why you have one of the best seasons ever, and it's not able to maintain the player base. Yes, people are trying it out and they're realizing again, it's the same old shtick. Nothing has changed. Nothing has been augmented. Nothing has been improved. And that's the problem. The content is there to support a massive overhaul. Like if they gave a World War II-esque overhaul to the way the game played and functioned, man, we might have one of the best Call of Duties on our hands. Because we have the content here to support a really solid game if the foundation was better. But unfortunately, because the foundation is built off of a flawed system, whether it's the anti-cheat, the matchmaking, the servers, or the spawns, it really creates a mess. We honestly have some great content here, and they've been adding new things to the game all the time. I, I can't be critical of that. They've been pretty consistent with adding new things, trying to keep the experience fresh. But it's the foundation that keeps coming back to haunt them. It's the same problems that have persisted for over a year now. That are dating back to maybe even Vanguard. Maybe even Modern Warfare 2019. That are coming back to bite them. And that should be the focus here. I would love to sit here and gush over the new maps that we've received here in Season 2. Or even the maps from Season 1. I'll be completely honest. I've been blown away by the content that has been added by Sledgehammer Games. But I'm not seeing anything fundamentally change about the experience. The same problems are persisting time and time again. And to me, I see that and it just doesn't make me want to play the game. Which tells me a few things, right? If you're not getting some of your most loyal fans to want to play your game on a regular basis, you're doing something wrong. Especially someone like me who is actually giving them a compliment when it comes to their content. I am begging them to give me a reason to play this game. And they constantly showcase that they don't want my time. They don't want my money. And so be it. I won't play the game. I won't spend my money. Even though I have money to spend, I would love to. I would love to sit there and support Call of Duty. And invest in some of the things that they're actually trying to do. 
But I can't. I can't. I cannot reward incompetence. I do it every day at the grocery store because I have to eat somehow. But unfortunately, I'm not going to do it here. I don't have to buy the skins in Call of Duty. I don't have to buy the Battle Pass. I can opt out of this stuff. It's just been such a disheartening year. Because there was real potential here. They were showcasing so much stuff before the game released that they were going to be better than Infinity Ward. That they were going to right all these wrongs. And they just haven't taken care of the core elements of the game. And that's where the issues lie. If you take care of the core elements and you really work on the foundations, I don't see any reason why this game cannot be supported better. I don't see any reason why this game won't have a better reception from this community. Because it deserves it. It really does. The content here, the way that they've been working at this game, like they've done a decent job. But they need the foundation to be better. And if Gulf War is going to build off of the same foundation with broken spawns, a broken matchmaking, broken servers, none of this is going to work. It's going to keep repeating the same mistakes and you're going to wonder why your player base is leaving. I mean, I can tell you, it's pretty obvious. And the fact that these people at Activision haven't figured it out yet, or maybe they know and they're just too lazy to care, that shows you right away where their interest lies, where their focus lies. And I'm all for companies making money and being profitable. I'm not against that. But what I am against is leveraging profit for a substandard product, a product that should be better. Like, I'm waiting to give you my money, and I know there's so many other people in this community that would be lining up to give their money to Activision, to Call of Duty, if they fix the core problems with the game. But they're not doing it. They're just leaving money on the table. And, and it blows my mind that nobody over at Activision seems to care. Like, we're talking about millions of dollars. Millions of dollars just left on the table because they're too lazy to put the effort in to fix the foundations. But maybe this is just more of a symptom of modern day gaming. An ecosystem driven by greed and a lack of creativity. That's what we're faced with. I mean, gaming has a pretty bleak outlook overall. Look at a lot of what's been released as of late. It's all been substandard. All to try to sell you on the idea of games as a service. Well, I look at it and I say, the service you're providing is poor. The game you're providing is poor. Why am I going to give you my money? And the same thing goes for Call of Duty. There's a good game in here somewhere, but it's hidden behind layers upon layers of bad game design and a lack of creativity. Simple as that. And I could say that about a lot of games in modern day gaming as well. It's a trend, and unfortunately, to fix the trend, we have to vote with our wallets. And until that happens, nothing's going to change. And that's the sad reality we live in. So, keep fighting the good fight. If you want to be a part of it, please join. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Let me know your thoughts on what we talked about here. Is it the foundations? Is it the content? What is it that is truly playing Call of Duty? Would love to hear your thoughts down below in that comment section. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.